Returning to the palace, you are made to wait for an insultingly long time while the governor finishes some allegedly important responsibilities. Fortunately, the palace has a very lovely garden courtyard where you can sit and pass the time. When you're finally let through to Dave Manzanado, it is without even a hint of apology for the wait. Yes, good, good. I take it you've passed whatever test DeBrossi devised for you. Then, I'll expect you to be pleased to know the perfect opportunity to turn up for you to serve the people of Santo Domingo. Well, let's schmooze. As you may have surmised, several problems encroach upon our control over this island. Most urgently, our supply lines to Santiago de los Caballeros in the north are being disrupted by a native cult of pagans that we suspect is using some old ruins in the deepest jungles of the island. Our supply lines must be secured, or the people of Santiago will soon be severely threatened by the slaves and rebels. And the troops of Santo Domingo have done... F all? Captain Noriega refuses to take his troops anywhere near those ruins, and in any event, they cannot be spared. They are needed to protect the city against the slaves. Uh, whatever. He's a bitch. Uh, east northeast from here. That way, the jungle gets denser and the ground turns swampy. The ruins are somewhere in the middle of it. Bear in mind, we know next to nothing about this cult. We don't know what kind of people they are, or how much of a fight they'll be putting up. I suggest you catch them by surprise, and cut them down first. There'll be plenty of time to find out what they've been up to later. Meh. Yes, 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 I'm sure you'll figure it out. Feel free to keep whatever items of worth you uncover in that place. We'll call it your reward for a job well done. Return here when it's over, and we shall discuss your next assignment. <laughs> You're met by a young woman in uniform. Captain Death of a De Los Pantalones Glorioso. Isabella de Take it to the docks, number C. Transfer your cargo into your possession. Ah, oh, why, well, yes, we must schmooze. Ah, she blushes fer ferociously and conceals a smile. Good deal. We are the schmooze. That looks like our supplies. Isabella leads you back to the docks where Umberto de Rossi is jovially overseeing the final customs check of your cargo from the comfort of his chair. Pipe firmly held between his teeth. Uncharacteristically, he gets up to greet you when, when Isabella announces your presence. Ah, so we meet again. Sooner than I'd expected, I must admit, and I see you've met Isabella. She's a polite young woman, isn't she? The daughter of Andres de... that name. Who came over with Columbus on the Santa Maria, so you might say she's got the pioneer spirit in her blood. Old Andres had her with a Taino girl he took a fancy to. As far as I'm concerned, she's as Spanish as they come. Oh, she's a half-breed. She's a muggle. Umberto nudges of Isabella affectionately, which does little to remove the beet-red color of utter embarrassment from her cheeks. Are you hoping to follow in your father's footsteps, senorita? She seemed confused at first, but then she realizes she must be referring to her uniform. My father was a great explorer with a powerful lust for adventure and native women. He was not much of a military man, but I must don the uniform to walk a similar path as he did, and I have done so without hesitation. Even Umberto seems a little puzzled by her cryptic phrasing, but he quickly changes the topic back to the matter at hand. Uh, he, yes, that, okay. <laughs> Perhaps that's a story for another time. I expect Captain de los Pantalones Glorioso. What you want to collect this? That's really my name. Uh... Well, there are 500 reels worth of gold and silver treasure, one week worth of rations for 10 troops, valued at 700 reels, medicine and med medical equipment, two to 800 reels, and 1,800 reels worth of military swag. But we stocked 800 valuables and 2,000 reels worth of equipment. Aye, uh, the dock workers, most of them are slaves. The ones that aren't, well, they're not all up to the moral standard you might wish. Your goods must have been stolen. I do apologize. I should have kept a better eye on her. Well, it's too late to do anything about that now. I'm going to need horses and carts and some servants. Of course, you may take three carts from the garrison. Seeing how Noriega's contingent seems to be afraid to leave and conf the confines of the town anyway. I believe we can spare a dozen slaves from the docks to serve you on your incursions into the island. Yeah, sure. Slaves. Whatever. Umberto nods and hurries off towards the palace. Isabella steps forward again. Well, she can say something. I hope you'll pardon my forwardness, but would you permit me to join your expedition? Oh, he of the glorious pants. Can you fight, girl? I've traded for many hours with Umberto, but no. 
I would be happy to simply help with the carts and would work around the camp every night until I'm ready to fight. Don't think I'll go easy on you because you're a woman. Under my command, everybody pulls their weight. I don't expect anything less. Oh, good deal. A sparkling grin graces her face, and she sets off at a brisk pace towards the fortress to pack her things. Lovely. Ooh, look at all this stuff. What's this? What's this? There's something in the air. There's quest markers all over the damn town. Trading, bartering. Okay. Merchant has low supply. They will value that higher. If they have a high supply, it'll be cheap. Buy low, sell high. Okay, sure. What can we have? Everything's in normal supply. He has lots of gold? Valuables, okay. And he has an average amount of food. Damn, that's like 200 bucks worth of food. Damn! Medicine and weapons are super expensive. Oh, I can't buy valuables. Oh, I can, but with something else. Ah, that's why. What if I bought food? I can't buy food. Oh, I can. Okay. Uh, that's still a lot of rations for five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's not do any trading. Go away. Let's go talk to the church! Under construction. Uh, yeah, we'll attend the sermon. Today's sermon is delivered by a Franciscan monk by the name of Caro from the town's monastery. The sermon's quite different from the seasonal themes you're used to back in Spain. It's clearly colored by the trials of settling in the New World. After the sermon, Hermano Caro stands at the door to thank everybody for attending as they leave. He is a slender man in his mid 60s with a long white beard and gentle eyes. When you shake his hand, he gives you a look and pulls you aside. Your Grace, a moment of your time, please. Captain Noriega has mentioned you in passing. He said you and your troops might be heading to north to Santiago de los Caballeros within the foreseeable future. Uh, yes. He convinced you to bring a modest load of Bibles to the people. I guess. Do they really need Bibles? Regular caravans of more import supplies live between Santa Domingo, but this is a special ship. The Word of God is sadly not reproduced in quantities as large as food and weapons. But if this shipment were to be lost, it would be something of a tragedy. Aww. We could be not altruistic. Uh, yeah, let's. What can you compensate me for? No. Of course, I would not think to ask for something like this without being offered payment. The Bible should be delivered to a Portuguese merchant called Inez Tavares. He has been instructed to pay you 2,000 valuables for your time and trouble. Well, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Oh, see, he probably would have told me that if I just said yes, and now I'm a dick. Oh well. What are you? Noriega's warning. One of Noriega's soldiers stops you as you're leaving, San Domingo. If you have a moment, Senor de los Pantalones Glorioso, Captain Noriega would like to have one last word. Uh, thank you for waiting. I don't know what Dame Mon Zinetto has told you about. I may be far past my prime, but I'm no fool. I spent a lot of time in these jungles, and I just want to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Well, yeah. Many dangers in this island. Savages, rebels, bandits, but the most dangerous foe is hunger. Mindful of your food reserves, each person in your expedition will need one ration every day, and nobody likes to go hungry. Where can I get rations from? The markets, there are three Taino villages of significance on this side of the island. One on the north coast and two on the east. Most of them are friendly, and you convince them to sell you food. <laughs> My sword can be very convincing. <laughs> you seem like a man with your heart in the right place. For what it's worth, I think the governor acted unjustly when he confiscated your ship. I wish you the best of luck in your travels. Id con Dios. I don't know what id... It's good with God. Uh, what are you hiding behind this tree? A concerned woman... Captain! Captain! Uh, of course, Signora. How can I help? I would humbly ask that you keep your men away from our young girls. The arrival of your contingency, most of my men are young girls, madam. <laughs> uh, lordy. Your men should know that our girls are virtuous, and we very much like them to stay away. My troops are gentlemen, and I assure you they would never dream of imposing themselves upon your young ladies. I believe my 
assurances. Of course. Adios. Adios, Capitan. The Chostero residence. Excuse me, senor, a moment of your time. This is a, a man. What do you want? Uh, you are the new captain that came here on the Maria Teresa, are you not? I've seen your troops. They look very capable. He hesitates. I'm wondering if perhaps you would be willing to hire out some of your men to perform a task for you. willing to compensate for the time within reason. What do you want? I'm Martin Chaucer. I'm treasurer of the governors. Really? My wife is a soldier under Noriega's command. She was sent on patrol to the mountains northwest of here, but her detachment hasn't returned. They're weeks overdue. He's very worried. If you'd only send some of your troops to search for her, as I said, I will pay you for time. I just, I must know. I must have her brought back to me if she's alive, and if not, well. Yeah, we'll look for your wife. We got nothing else to do. Thank you. Thank you, Capitan. Her name is Luisa Chorso. She's a sergeant in the army. She's 31 years old, has long black curls, and she wears a medallion with my portrait inside it. Please, I will pay you whatever you wish. He thanks you again several times, and then he thanks each of the troops who are with you before I finally withdraw to his home. Right, is this my journal? Ah, yes! There's the medallion. There's the word of God. Part of this manual and you will be. Okay, so this looks like our ruins. Oh my, this is this is a big map. Santiago. There's we can always come back. Okay, how do we leave town? Can we go this way? No, we can go this way. Now leaving the free move zone, which you're in, it's not inside the zone. Okay, now we have to camp at the end of the day. What's this? I don't know what it is. Let's go find out. It's glowing, so it must be important. Chart the outskirts. Oh, okay. We just found the stuff, I guess. You must camp for the night. Okay. I would like to camp for the night. This is the camping system. Before you camp for the night, you should assign tasks to your followers to distribute rations as well as treat any injured members. Okay. Mm -hmm. Control the camp. Control the surrounding area looking for interest. Decide to hunt for meat. Herbalism allows you to pick medicine. Good. Unpreserved meat will spoil during the night if you don't preserve it or eat it immediately. If you have an excess of meat, preserve it for later use. Some areas are more difficult to camp in. That's good to know. Auto assign most like yeah okay cool I'm probably gonna do auto assign cause I yeah so we got a bunch of people hunting does it say what they're doing oh yes yeah, so most of them are hunting free food is always good you must be patrol points for points of interest and we have a lot of people guarding so cool so I guess we have very skilled people we don't have anyone looking for herbs but meh oh we yeah patrol difficulty high Okay, cool. I'm, I'm good. Rations. Okay. Keep followers more than one unit. It has a chance to increase the morale. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so two rations, one ration. Nothing. Eh, auto assign. Everybody gets a ration. Yay, food. Oh, God. We're only going to be able to be out here for like seven days. Oh, a week. Right. Nothing happened this time. We ate 11 rations, and we found 11 meats. Yay, we found 11 meats. Good deal. So where'd this thing go? There was a thing here. Okay, so it was in the mountains to the west? What's this? Power management. Class abilities, yeah, yeah, camping skills, eh, whatever. Oh, this is my expedition over, so okay. Alright, cool. Oh, shows what they're good at. Well, that's lovely. Uh, my bonus, where's the medallion? Oh, Cairns, okay, so that's what we're looking for there. So patrol the mountains northwest of San Diego. Let's head that way, I guess.
Well, we're gonna eat meat, so that's fine. Yes, we're giving everyone meat! Hot diggity. Oh, we have much food, and our defenses hold up. There's something that might be what we're looking for. That way, horse! Oh, we have to zoom in because we're not on the mountain anymore. That looks like treasure. It's a piggy! Found valuables. Go kill the piggy! There's more stuff over there. Huzzah! Have some people preserving tonight. Which we can move further. No, nobody preserving. Fine. We found a, a thing. We found oil. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, oh god, we're way too far south. hunting. What the hell are you? A group of natives have been following you as you've made your way through the mountains. When they finally catch up to you, they don't appear to be Taino. Their faces are decorated with fierce war paint, and their garbs are a drab brown rather than the familiar green. They show no signs of breaking off the chase, so escaping could be difficult. But if you're quick about it, you may have time to set up some traps or barricades. Yeah, sure. Prepare for battle. To battle! Uh, what are you? You're a scout. Add a lot of flexibility to your force. Oh, cool, I can choose people's equipment. That's neat. Punal range. What? Maybe that changes as they level up. Oh. Oh. Oh, well that's cool. I can make them better. Cool. Okay, so soldier, 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 hunter, doctor, hunter. Probably the one with the bow and arrow on their symbol. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, and then we'll get Rowies and Pascal each a helmet. Okay, cool. To battle! Switch out two followers by oh yeah, cool. Place your arrogates before the battle starts. You can place items inside the green line. Preparation phase. Where can I start? Holy crap, this map's big. And there's a lot of dudes! So we can be all up in here. Behind the soldiers. Yeah. We're gonna try and go this way for flanking. We're gonna go with her. And we get to go first. It's very dark. Very dark.
Cosmic Doctor, Behind the Rocks. Cool. Oh, there we go. Ah, we can make them go away. Okay, right. That looks like to be a marksman. I like how much movement everybody gets. That's really awesome. A fighter. Oh boy. He got all the way up here. And I think that's a shame, and I think he's their healer. What's this guy? Uh oh, that's not what we wanted. He's got a stick. I don't think they'd be able to move that far. Crap. That's the opposite of good. Fight him or try and run past him, actually. Yeah, he could have tried to run past him. That's stupid. Whoa, two shots. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, he takes a substantial hit to their accuracy, though. Damn, look at that range. Oh. You son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh, God. Definitely need to 
heal him next. <coughs> oh no! <laughs> Doctor has a high ranking rhyme. I need to see this. May carry over to the world map, he may lose equipment. Aw, suck. I guess that means the doctor can heal someone else. How do you attack from opportunity you know, with a ranged weapon? That's not how that crap works. Shoot him in the back. on their team lasting longer. 78%. I'll take it. Six medicine, 340 valuables, and some rope. Nice. 